Hello everyone, I'm Scott David, the Director of Investigations at Animal Outlook. We're heading back to Hyrule this month with a new Zelda game, Tears of the Kingdom. So I played the previous installment, Breath of the Wild, when it first came out back in 2017. Uh, Breath of the Wild is an open world game, so players can explore almost any region in whatever order and generally just play the game however they want. Included in this freedom was the ability to forage for food and cook a variety of meals. Uh, as soon as I saw the different plants and fungi dotting the map, I decided to try a vegan run of this game. I still fought the enemies of Hyrule, but I just didn't use any animal products to restore my health or for equipment. For the most part, I ate mushrooms and fruits, which players can just pick up wherever they're growing. Uh, there are a variety of mushrooms in-game which turn into mushroom skewers when cooked with no other ingredients. Uh, and different mushrooms can also give you different effects, like resistance to cold or increased speed or strength. I didn't spend too much time with fancy recipes as you can continue eating the same thing to restore health without the efficacy decreasing at all. So in-game, the biggest hurdle for me was the appropriately named Death Mountain, an active volcano that you're likely going to be traversing on foot during your first trip there. The high temperatures cause Link to literally catch on fire if he's not in pieces of flame breaker armor or hasn't consumed a potion called a fireproof elixir. The trouble is, getting all this equipment requires fireproof lizards. At that point in the game, you have to catch a few of these little guys during a side quest to get the armor, and crafting the elixir requires lizards as well. I don't know whether the animals are killed or hurt in the creation of the elixir since it's not explained, but even if they weren't, I wouldn't want to stress them out in the capture process or by keeping them in captivity if they were real lizards. So I elected to just run through Death Mountain, completely on fire, eating mushroom skewers every so often to replenish the health that was pretty steadily draining. I made it to Goron City just fine, though I didn't visit a lot afterwards for obvious reasons. Not much else gave me a lot of trouble besides maybe fashion. Unfortunately, a lot of armor in this game requires animals like snails or fish to upgrade. I ended up going with the soldier armor, which you just buy from a store and upgrade with parts from monsters who want to pick a fight with you. That isn't the only armor that doesn't require non-humanoid animal products, so there are still some choices if you'd prefer some protection instead of just wandering around in your underwear. So that's just a taste of what my vegan run of Breath of the Wild was like. It wasn't necessary to use animal products for food or equipment. Real life is becoming more and more like that as well. You can go to most grocery stores in real life and see a multitude of vegan options. It's also becoming increasingly possible to find vegan versions of protective equipment, whether those are boots or gloves or whatever. These can include synthetic materials, which are already widely used, or leather made from mushroom or plants like cactus and pineapple. Some cactus leather brands say their products can last for 10 years. Use of these plant materials is just starting to ramp up, but already there's at least some boxing gloves out. So I'm looking forward to seeing more in the future. That's it for today. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content, and I will see you next time, probably in a Tears of the Kingdom video.